not the start you guys wanted this season, but how have y'all kind of responded this week in practice and holding it together in the locker room and everything? Um, I mean, we know it's a long season. Obviously, it's not the start nobody in Greenville wanted or imagined, but I mean, you just got to face the fact that we start off 0-3. Um, we got one more non-conference game and hopefully we can get it rolling. Uh, just start off with one win, not trying to look too far in the future, but just trying to take it day by day. Y'all had to, to leave the last two games before things kind of got away. Just, what have y'all learned maybe from those instances as a team? Um, you just got to finish. That's You got to play four quarters. Um, but like we can't take our foot off the gas at all. We've got to keep going and we've got to stay focused. Like little things, little mistakes that some guys who might um, be new to playing or new starters, it's just like a little growing pains. But in this league, I mean, stuff like that, little, little errors, one mistake might lose you the whole game. And I feel like um, the whole team is really starting to realize that. And we've got to just hone in on finishing playing four quarters. This week, it seemed like there was more fluency in the offense. What do you think changed from week two to week three? Um, just like I said, people growing, um, getting more and more experience each game, um, becoming more comfortable out there. Um, just, you know, like like in practice, how we've been honing in on the little things, the little mistakes that from the past game that are the reason we lost. We're trying to just eliminate those. And the more we can do that, the better off we'll be. What was the feeling like after that opening drive? When you guys drive 75 yards and score, I mean, do you guys just, can you think you can just bottle that up somehow? I mean, because there are some positives coming up. Yeah, I mean, that's the type of offense we really think we can be. We just got to be able to do that every time we hit the field. We can't have any negative drives, bad drives. Like that, I, I'd say that first drive, that App State game, like that shows how this ECU offense can be. We can be explosive throwing the ball and running the ball. Coach just talked about how he's addressed the penalties and keep trying to address it as a as a senior. Do you try and step up and say some things to your teammates too to address it or is it more on the, the staff right now? I mean, no, it's it's on all of us. Um we all gotta take accountability. Um every unit has had their own penalties, so of course like penalties that, that gets you beat. We're just giving up free yards, making it harder for ourselves, getting in first and long, second and long, third and long. We just gotta cut silly stuff out like that. Coach talked about being positive and kind of staying together right now. Have you kind of felt like the team has been able to do that? You know, I know you just practiced Sunday, but. Um, yeah, I mean, we got to stay positive just because we know we haven't started conference yet. And I mean, everything we want is still in front of us because like, like I said, we haven't started conference and we can still win this conference. Um, so we've just got the whole team. They've kind of got the mindset of like, let's just get one. Like you can't get nine without getting one. With How much do you think that one, if you are able to do it Saturday, go out and earn a victory, just will help from a confidence standpoint, especially with the younger guys? It'll definitely help a lot because like a lot of the younger guys, they haven't had a college win yet. Um, some of the guys who transfer, like they just want that first ECU win. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna help moving in, moving forward to uh, the first conference game, just like the morale that everybody just, it's Sunday practice is way better after a win and a loss, as y'all can imagine. So that'll help a lot. In practice, you know, Anton Jackson, I'm sure you've gone against each other sometimes in practice. What, what have you seen out of a, a player so young, especially too, and that you know is able to handle a plane at this level? I mean, <clears throat> from, the, from the jump, like the first time I saw him out there, I really uh, noticed he's got like special ball skills. And you can see why he was recruited so heavily. And he's obviously, to be so young, he's so talented. And I mean, I feel like if you're good enough, you're old enough. So it's like the age thing doesn't really matter. And I was always a fan of his game. I was just ready for him to get his moment. I'm proud of him.